What is up party people? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Devin and I'm a firm believer that there is something magical that happens when pen hits paper. So if you believe this too, then you should stick around. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys some stationery that I've used up. And this is my second video in this series. So if you missed the first one, I'll have it linked off in the description box below. I can't be the only one that feels this way, but I think that there's some Something so satisfying about finishing something up, whether it be stationery or cosmetics. I've said this before, but I identify as a finisher. First up, I finished this Clementine paper ink notebook, and I got this from TJ Maxx, but I believe they sell this brand at Target. It's just a regular, like, lined notebook, but I liked it because it was thin and very pliable. So I could stuff it in my backpack for the times that I needed to write on the go. I enjoy the stripe design, especially the rose gold. I think it's really pretty. And of course I had to add a little tag here that says NNWM for NaNoWriMo 2018. That way I can have this archived and easy to find. So this was the notebook that kicked off NaNoWriMo for me. It came out to 116 pages but I think I didn't number the first four pages, so really it's 120. The second notebook that I finished was this one from Daiso. I think it has 98 pages, yep. And it's just a craft style notebook. I actually got this notebook at a dance competition. They gave it to all of the directors, so that's why we have this little postcard cut out, and it was the artificial Roots Minor Division Dance Competition that was in 2014 and it was cool because they printed our team's name on there. So originally this notebook was used for just like different notes and things when I was still running that competition team but I had a bunch of pages left over so I went ahead and used that for the continuation of my draft for NaNoWriMo. And the third notebook that I finished was this one, and it is a fringe notebook. So I talked about fringe notebooks a little bit in my November favorites video. These notebooks I've found at TJ Maxx, and they're always reasonably priced. So I suggest you go and check out your TJ Maxx to see if you can find some of these. But this one in particular has like a nice composition look, but I think they sort of elevated that with the marble. I think it looks really elegant and of course it has the rose gold trim for the little like notebook label. This notebook had 160 pages. So those are the three notebooks that I filled up for NaNoWriMo and it was a really great feeling. I complained a lot about my arm hurting from all the writing that I did but honestly like seeing those notebooks all used up and worn. But if you identify as a finisher like I do, then this right here needs no further explanation. All right, I have a little pen case. This one's from Daiso that I've been using to store all of the pens that I used up during NaNoWriMo and there are quite a few. So let's start off with this one. I didn't use this one for NaNoWriMo. I just realized during NaNoWriMo that it was empty. <laughs> so this is a fountain pen from Daiso. If you're like an OG follower, then you probably remember me talking about this in a previous video. This came with a blue cartridge, which ended up just like drying out kind of gnarly. I, I need to wash this pen out and hopefully salvage it. So I guess this one's kind of like halvesies. I kind of finished it, but also it dried out. I did feel like it was worth mentioning though because I'm interested to flush it out and try using it again to see if it's any good now that I've been playing around with some other fountain pens that have been somewhat highly regarded in the fountain pen community. I say that very loosely because I'm still learning a lot. The pen that I used the most for my NaNoWriMo draft was this one and it's a bit clip with Snoopy on it and it's just super cute. It's pink and gold and I got this in one of my Tokyo pen shop character kits. I'm not a huge fan of ballpoint pens but I just figured that I'd go ahead and give it a shot and I ended up using it until all the ink was gone. So I wanna say that it 
helped me fill up these two notebooks before I switched pens. For this many pages, I mean, that's pretty good. Ballpoint does tend to last a little bit longer than gel. I got some good mileage out of this one, and I don't know, like, if you guys have suggestions about the refill, it, it's a very skinny refill, and it's kind of got these little flared out parts. So if you guys have recommendations of what I could use in here, I'd be really happy to know. I have a High Tech C Coletto refill in red, and this one has the RePP Armario topper. I am a fan of the High Tech C Coletto just because it's got that needle nose tip and I really enjoyed the way that it writes. And I used this when I was doing some early revisions. There wasn't a whole lot of ink left, I wanna say maybe less than half, but I finished that up as well during NaNoWriMo. I finished all of these Friction Ball Slim pens. These are in 0.38, and you'll have to forgive me because I don't know all the colors off the top of my head, but we've got like a bright green, a pink, this one is forest green, this is red. I wanna say that this one right here is sky blue. This one is honey yellow, and out of all of these, I will probably only repurchase the refill for this one, which is surprising because yellow isn't a color that I usually use. I think I talked about this in my favorites as well, but it's just, it's such a good yellow, so I'm going to repurchase that. And then this one is sort of a light pink. We've got a an orange and then a, a light orange. I obviously can't swatch these for you because I finished them up, so I'm so sorry about that. But if you look at the body of the pen, that should give you a pretty good idea. I used these to number all of my words because I was writing my draft out and I needed to keep track of how many words I was writing every day. So once I finished a page, I would take a pen and basically like number each and every single word. So that was probably a lot more work than I needed to do or, you know, that was necessary, but it was fun because I... I got some good use out of my Friction Ball Slims. I've talked about these before in past videos. I really do love them. I think they're a great little erasable pen and they just come in so many different fun colors. The last two things are probably not that exciting, but I just wanted to throw them in here because again, I feel like it's so rewarding to finish something. So the first thing that I have is this correction tape. I used this a lot during NaNoWriMo and there would be times where I would just like scribble things out and rewrite them but other times that just like happened so much that I needed to bring in this correction tape and kind of like make space for me to actually write. So this one was from Daiso, it was $1.50 and it lasted me a good while so I'm pretty happy about that and I would definitely consider purchasing my correction tape from Daiso again. And then I also finished this glue stick, which again, it's kind of like a weird thing. It's not that exciting, but sort of the same thing that I said in my first stationery I used up video, I talked about finishing an eraser and those things are hard to finish because you end up losing them. I feel like the glue stick kind of falls in that category, like either it dries out or you misplace it. So I was able to finish a full glue stick and I use this mostly for doing a little bit of crafting in my gratitude journal and in my planner. This particular glue, I don't know that I would purchase again, but it came in a two pack. So we'll see how the second one goes. So that is it for all the stationery and notebooks that I've used up for this go around. I want to say it's only been a month since my first video so I'm pretty impressed with the amount of stationery I was able to go through and it's not really like so much about getting through something it's more about knowing that I was able to enjoy it to its fullest potential things in life are not permanent we are not permanent and I know that might sound a little morbid 
but it's just, it's a good reminder for me to enjoy the things that I do have and to live my life with the utmost gratitude. And I do feel really blessed to have such beautiful stationery and awesome writing implements to express my creativity and to have a place where my brain can feel at ease. Before we close out this video, I just wanna put the word out that I am looking for pen pals. If you're interested, let me know. I have a PO box now that I'll link off in the description box below. So if you'd like to join me in preserving the fine art of snail mail, you can check that out. I'd be super happy to write back and forth with each and every one of you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday evenings. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.